Toronto. And people came out in the thousands to hear his words at the Rogers Centre. Naman Khan has more. Thousands cheered on the Dalai Lama as he appeared for a talk on the art of happiness. I think I visited here uh, a few times in the past. But this time, I'm speaking to you as an honorary citizen of this country. <laughs> People lined up early to get a seat inside the Rogers Center to hear the 72-year-old exile leader. This is both his Buddhist spiritual ideals and his political struggle for Tibet that have made him a hero. Buddhism has always been a part of Hinduism, so I had been to a lot of uh, monasteries and all. I, I am impressed by that religion. Politically, I'm, I'm not too sure about that, but I feel that uh, he deserves his place for whatever he's working for. I have heard about the political cause in Tibet, and um, that's about all I know. So I'm here to learn. It's, you know, like just dealing with things in a calm way and realizing that everything's impermanent, you know, it probably does help you deal with your problems a bit more. Like if they can deal with, the depends can deal with their problems, being in exile and still being hopeful, then it's a good message for everybody else too. Inside, they were treated to the Dalai Lama's trademark humor, like here, as he starts talking about the secrets to a successful marriage. Is it? I think many of you, I think, have this experience. I think more experience than me. <laughs> On a more serious note, the Dalai Lama says he respects America's ideals of liberty and freedom, but thinks the billions of dollars spent on combat in Iraq could be much better spent on health and education. So those society where more compassionate sort of atmosphere, <laughs> each other greetings, each other sharing difficulties, and almost like one home, that the community, or the, each, each individual in that community, much happier. This massive gathering at the Rogers Center concludes what may be the Dalai Lama's most controversial and high-profile trip ever to North America. He now heads back to his home in exile in northern India. But now that he's a Canadian citizen and the Tibetan community has a permanent cultural center in Etobicoke, many of his followers say they're hoping he comes here more often and stays much longer. For Omni News, I'm Norman Khan.